To give each student a slightly different problem, an online homework system randomly generates numbers between 351 and 358 for a particular problem. The values are spread evenly over the range of values and are rounded to one decimal place. This is important, this piece, because now we know because the probabilities or the values are spread evenly over that range of values means that this is going to be a uniform distribution or uniform random variable where A is equal to 351 and B is equal to 358. All right, so if we want to draw the distribution of this random variable, it's going to be from 351 to 358, and it looks like sort of like a box because we have a uniform probability. So the uniform probability density function is 1 over b minus a, which is equal to 1 over 358 minus 351, which in this case is 1 over 7. And that's going to be the height of our probability density distribution function. So that's the height of our box here. All right, so now that we've drawn the distribution, what is the probability the value will be within one standard deviation of the mean? So to calculate this, we first need to calculate the expectation and, and standard deviation. So in notation, this is asking, what is the probability that x is greater than mu of x minus sigma x and is less than mu of x plus sigma x? All right, so the expectation of a uniform random variable is a plus b over 2. Well, again, a is 351 plus 358. 8 is b, and we divide this by 2, and we will get an average value of 354.5. The standard deviation of x is equal to the square root of the variance of x, and for a uniform distribution, the variance is then b, so that's 358 minus a, 351 squared, all divided by 12. And so if we take the square root of this, we will get the standard deviation. So this is the square root of 49 over 12, which is equal to 2.02. .02. All right, so now we can simply plug this into this expression up here. So we get the probability of 354.5 minus 2.02 .02 .02 is less than x, and x is less than 3. 54.5 plus 2.02. .02. So this is then equal to the probability that x is between 352.48 and 356.52. All right, so how can we calculate this? Well, we can use our probability density function. We just integrate from the lower bound of 352.48 up to the upper bound of 356.52 of our probability density function. And so this is equal to x over 7. And we can evaluate it from the lower bound to the upper bound. And this is then equal to 356.52 over 7 minus 352.48 over 7, which is altogether equal to 0 0.577. So the likelihood that the value will be within one standard deviation from the mean is 57.7%. All right, so the next problem is a little bit different. What is it asking us? It says, suppose one student gets a rounded value of 352.3. What is the chance another student gets the exact same value? So what that means is consider that each value is rounded based on the hundredths place value. If it's rounded based on the hundredths place value, then that means that it has a range of likelihood of becoming 352.3. And so if we think of 
what values would round to 352.3, those values would have a lower bound of 352.25, if we base it on the hundreds place, and would have an upper bound of 352.34, if we round it based on the hundreds place. This would round down to 352.3. So we can find the probability of a student getting the exact same value this way. And so we have to integrate over our probability density function. So this is equal to, again, x over 7 from 352.25 to 352.34, which is equal to then 352.34 over 7 minus 352.25 over 7, which is equal to 0 0.09 over 7, which is equal to 0 0.013. So it's a very small likelihood that a student would actually get the exact same value given the random number generation. All right, so lastly, the last question in this series is 35% of all values will be greater than what value? So what is this asking for? So it's essentially saying 35% of all values are going to be greater than. So the greater than is the piece here. So what it's looking for is it's looking for this value in which 35% of the area is above that particular value, and that would mean that 65% of our area is below that particular value. So in order for us to find this, we need to calculate the 65th percentile. So if we scrolled back down here, what that means is that we will calculate from 351, our lower bound, up to a place value of x of 0 0.65 and integrate over our PDF. This will have to be equal to 0 0.65. And this is then equal to x of 0 0.65, this is what we're trying to find, the 65th percentile value, minus 351 over 7, if we integrate this. And this is then equal to, again, 0 0.65. And so this is then equal to 7 times 0 0.65 plus 351. So that is going to be the cutoff value. And this is equal to 355.55, or in other words, 355.6, because all values are rounded to the tenths place. All right, so if we look back up here, does that value make sense? And it'd be right about here, 355 point, what was the value again, 0.6. And just based on kind of the eyeball approximation, that seems to make sense. All right, so this is how we can calculate probabilities, the average and standard deviation, and percentiles for a uniform random variable.